Okay. These are the credentials. Map Afghan Host Pro. Yes, Host Pro Irish. Host Pro friends account in his house. Wasn't him. He's not that good. Just kidding. He's a beast. But it was me. Yeah. UMP for the win and topic today Dublin. Yeah. Let's go through this basically. So from some of you might know that most of your, most of my subscribers at the moment would be Irish. Uh basically what I want to discuss today is about the floods in Dublin which is actually quite funny, but in a way it, it is unfair obviously because so many businesses have been destroyed like my parents know a few people that their businesses have been damaged a lot like due to water. But uh, it is kind of funny in a sense, but uh, yeah, very unfair. And um, So, let's get on it anyway. So there was really bad torrential rain, I think it was two days ago yesterday. I can't remember, I have bad memory. And um, it just, where even where I live, there was really shitty bad rain. Uh, really, really heavy. There was like big giant puddles, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't go as far to say flood, but I'd say puddles. And uh, gigantic, gigantic puddles, not pussy puddles that you fucking jump in with your welly boots like a cunt but like you know big puddles and uh basically dublin got their floods and when i heard about it it was all over like it was all over like facebook you know when your friends would be posting i'd be like why the fuck do you just care about dublin but then like then i went on youtube and typed in dublin flood and instantly it came up dundrum center and i'm like dundrum that's like it's one of the biggest shopping centers in the country i think it is actually but anyway like, I was like, wait, this this must be an old thing. But then I looked at it, it was like 24th of October. I'm like, right, that's yesterday. So, basically, when I seen it, I was like, what the fuck? So I looked at it, and then I was like, fucking hell, this must be true. I looked at it, and then I was like, well, the floods. There must be bad floods, because they're sandbags. And then I noticed that, actually, outside, because it's night time, I couldn't really recognize. There's actually fucking water at the window, like five foot high water at the fucking window and then it breaks through it breaks through the window and it's just absolutely just forcing its way in the almighty fucking water god whatever it's called poseidon or fuck yeah i'm i'm talking shite but anyway it's forcing through the fucking shopping center and it is everywhere like going down the stairs it's like nearly 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 like a th kind of like it's not a second floor, but it's a half floor. They have like a half floor, you know. It's like halfway up from a second floor. It's like nearly to there. It's ridiculous. And then I seen all the floods on the road. It's the canal and the Liffey burst. It's the River Liffey going through Dublin. And um, what is it? Yeah, there was this uh, raw amateur video on YouTube which I kind of laughed at because I was think I'll, I'll link it if I can find it again. Uh, so it will be in the description. So if you want to watch it, probably look down in the description. So um. He was just there, and they were on a bus, and then they they looked down at the bus, and there's just water gushing through the bus, like the bus doors, just getting through because of, uh, the they're going through a gigantic, like, flooded path, and they, all the Irish people are on it, like, all the Irish people are on it, and they're just laughing, and I think it's hilarious, because if it was any other country, I wouldn't think they'd take it the same way, but because it's Ireland, they just laugh their heads off. And just completely fucking ignore the fact that there's water and just enjoy the fucking bus ride to wherever they're going. And you even see this, like, old woman sitting there with her legs crossed laughing. And then there's, an, there's a man, this is my favourite, there's a man with his legs crossed, shoes in the fucking water, just reading the newspaper, flicking the page. I was like, oh my god, nowhere else but Ireland. So, uh, write in a comment if you want to, like, to describe what what would you probably do if that was happening to you in the bus? Uh, what, like, what way would you react? And, like, tell me if you think it was funny what way the Irish people reacted. But, uh, yeah, I love the Irish people, the way they go on. It's brilliant. Uh, so, end of the story. Finish the game, uh, 30 to 3. Um, playing a state failure of a map, so I'm not going to play that one. So, uh, thanks, guys. I'll see you all later. Bye.